peaceful fights for equal rights. Hi everyone, it's Crispy Patty. This is the book I have today titled Peaceful Fights for Equal Rights, written by Rob Sanders, illustrated by Jared Andrew Shore. Shall we jump into it? I think we shall. We must pursue peaceful ends through peaceful means. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Great quote. So true. Huh? In honor of those who lost their lives at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and those who found their voices. For Will and Eloise, I fight for more, fight for your more peaceful future. Mm, I like that. Assemble. Take action. Create allies. Right? Get the equal sign. Resist. Peace sign. Even the dog is there. And this child learning. What is going on? What are they doing? Right? I recommend that you read this or have a parent or a teacher nearby but if you don't you can go on the back and they have a glossary and you can look up words that you see in the book that will help you <gasps> whoa is that it enough hashtag resist no more war not bombs make buttons make banners make bumper stickers too Boycott, 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 boycott grapes. Okay, boycott, what is that? Boycott, to stop buying or using something or to stop going to a particular place. So in this case, they're saying don't buy grapes. This guy's holding up a bag of grapes. Maybe because they're too expensive. Maybe the company is not paying their workers enough money. Maybe the country they came from is politically unrest, meaning there's some dangers or harm to the workers. Who knows? Maybe they're too expensive. Chant. Cheer. Call someone. Campaign. Camp out. Demonstrate. Don't give up. Don't give in. So camping out, you might stay in a tent somewhere to protest. You might campaign, right? Political parties coming, are going out on the campaign trail right now for presidential election. As I read this, so they're going out, telling their points of view and connecting with their people. All right, what do we got? An elephant pouring out of its spout water into the turtle vase with flowers and a butterfly. Got some worms coming out. Hey, we want some of that water. We want to smell your flower, not your feet. <laughs> Got a hummingbird getting some sweet nectar, sugar water, right? This guy's on the phone. Hey, Sally, you got the signs ready? We're getting ready for the protest. All right. Oh, cool. Look at this. Educate, encourage, endure. Be fearless. Fly a flag. File a lawsuit. Have faith. All right, we got a picture of Mahatma Gandhi, a famous protester in India. Organized a very large protest. He fasted for numbers of days, meaning he did not eat food because he wanted to make a point. He wanted to represent his people. Let's see, we got kids sitting around listening to the teacher, right? Give time, give strength, give money if you can. Shake a hand, lend a hand. Have hope, be hope. Oh, beautiful. Now here's some boxes, water and food. They're being moved over to this couple. Aw. This person has tears receiving food and water and clothing. Maybe they had a hurricane. Maybe there was a maybe they don't have enough money because they lost a job. Maybe something happened to them unexpected. Here are these people working together to help them out. A little stuffy, real little baby, cutie. 
Inquire, inform, imagine, invite. Join others on the journey. Join others to the fight. Isn't that fun, huh? You can be with your friends and do a peaceful protest, a peaceful fight to make rights for people, huh? Stand up for others. Knit a hat. You could knit a hat. It's a form of peaceful protest, right? Here's a cat trying to make a hat of itself for itself. <laughs> Here live, someone bowing, taking a knee, the football game, right? Here, take a knee. You can certainly ask your teacher or parent about this. There's lots of information about taking a stance alone, right? Being brave, being courageous for something you believe in. To be the first can be scary. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree or are, can stand behind you once you take the first step. Listen, learn, lead, light a candle, write a letter, pass laws, march, mediate, meditate, motivate, never stop, right? Light a candle, come together in unison, huh? Come together. All many lights become one light, right? Hey, gay. Organize, organize, organize. Parade, picket, post, persist, persevere, right? You got their arms locked together come like a fence they're you together organized right they got a plan they stand together and a powerful word powerful action pray right to surrender to ask your higher power your god the universe to ask for help say i can't do it all i need some help to pray is to think about others, to ask for them to receive help. It's love. It's love. Love in a verbal form, in a verbal mindset, a verbal, and an action, right? Act, surrendering. Ask questions. Never quit. Quietly do what's right. Oh, my gosh. Read, remember, resist. Okay, we have a famous picture here you can ask your parent or teacher about. She's got her pizza. <gasps> I want pizza right now. The Invisible Man. I think Barack Obama was a big fan of that book. There's a cat. Sweet dreams, little kitty cat. Martin Luther King, I think. Here it is. Stand up, speak out, sit down, sing loud, be silent. Oh, a famous sit-in. You'll have to ask about that. People who sat down, places where they were not allowed, based on the color of their skin. Others were not happy, but they took a chance. They sat down to speak out, even just by being silent. Strike! All right, strike. Hold up those signs. Turn up the volume. You got a piano, the peace sign. You have a phone, which you're recording it. So oftentimes they have concerts, famous people or musicians come together to raise awareness, to let everybody know about something that's not right to people somewhere around the world, to raise money. And now that we have phones, we can record it and send it to around the world faster than ever. Unite, right? Unite together, peace, huh? Come together, together. We are all different, each of us different. Come together. Vote, volunteer, be vigil, be nonviolent. Wear it, wave it, work for it, write about it. What's vigil, huh? What is vigil, huh? A period of watchful attention. There you go. Yeah, people voting right now, coming up for President of the United States. Explain change. Exemplify change. Expect 
change. You can only do what you can do. So do it. <laughs> Look at that, huh? She's got a prosthetic leg, a fake, a mechanical or metal leg, right? She may have lost a leg, an accident or disease. Or... So she's got a new leg. She's got a lot of great tattoos, huh? She's colored hair, helping her child or a child, right? Standing, excitement, right? The new beginning days of standing and walking. And she has her cr crutches to help her support her legs. Cool, huh? Everyone is so different, right? Everyone is so different. But we are all connected, huh? Look at that. Handing out flyers. Be zealous, right? What's zealous? What is zealous? Is that in here? Filled with passion, enthusiasm, and eagerness, right? Passion. I mean, they, they really believe in this. They have to let others know. This guy's reading the flyers. He goes d flying down the slide, huh? Is he going to fly right into a river? <laughs> or it's the boundary, huh? This one, I was going to go down the slide, but I'm going to read this first. Hey, Mom, check this out. Oh, no. All right. We've come to the end, huh? Shall we read about peaceful protests? In the 1950s and 1960s, America witnessed nonviolent peaceful protest on a large scale. The movement was rooted in the philosophies of Henry David Thoreau, who in 1849 wrote the essay Civil Disobedience. Mahatma Gandhi practiced the principles of nonviolence in India in the 1930s, but it was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who became well known and well respected as an advocate for the use of peaceful protest in the United States. 1957, Dr. King wrote The Power of Nonviolence. Even before that, he had begun teaching about the philosophy of nonviolence and using it in protest for African American civil rights. Cesar Chavez used nonviolent protests in the 1960s to organize farm workers and later to gain rights for Hispanics. Those civil rights movements were followed by peaceful anti war protests, by protests for women's rights, gay rights, the environment, voter rights, and more. Not all peaceful protests are organized by large groups. When a person votes, he or she might actually be protesting. Sometimes people write a letter to express an opinion or sing a song of protest or stop buying certain products or shopping at certain stores while other people might buy a product to show their support of a particular view. Some might wear a specific t-shirt or button, put a bumper sticker on their car, knit a hat, post on social media, or fly a flag to share their views and opinions in nonviolent ways. Others might light a candle, meditate about positive changes they wish to see, or pray. Some people file lawsuits in the hopes of overturning laws or creating new ones. In The Power of Nonviolence, Dr. King explained that the ultimate goal of nonviolent protest is not to humiliate or defeat the opponent, but to win his friendship and understanding. Dr. King said the outcome of nonviolent protest would be reconciliation and the creation of a beloved community. Ooh, that's beautiful. I like that. Okay, everyone. Oh, let's read about the author and the illustrator, right? Rob Sanders is a writer who teaches and a teacher who writes. Every day he goes to Mintz Elementary School in Brandon, Florida to teach kids about books and words and reading and writing. Then he heads back home to write books for children. On weekends and holidays, you might find him hanging with his dog Baxter, spending time at the beach with his great nieces and great nephews, or talking with other children's book writers. Nothing makes his heart dance more than hearing boys and girls say, Read it again! <laughs> 
Jared Andrew Shore is an illustrator living in Southern California. He specializes in creating detailed work entirely from cut paper. His work has appeared in many publications as well as in galleries and homes around the world. Well, I enjoyed that book. I hope you did too. As, as always, shake a hand, lend a hand, have, have hope, be hope, or in these times, bump an elbow. Uh, if you enjoyed this book, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and pass this along to others. And I really enjoyed reading this to you, and I hope you enjoyed the story. And if you ever have a cause or you want to stand up, you can do a peaceful fight for equal rights. All right. Bye, everyone. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>